All right, we're halfway down one ear, so it's starting to get long. I'm going to. I am just going to cut this so that I'm not fishing so much of it. So yeah, I'll cut it and then I'll just keep fishing so I'm not pulling so, so, so much through and I'll just go to each one. Um, get my little tool underneath each. It's hard, he's moving a lot. Under each one, here's where it gets tricky. Down here, there's some healing. So you gotta, what you gotta do is dig your thing underneath there, grab it, pull it through. And as the line gets too long, just shorten it up. So we're down to the bottom. You can see that this is gonna be the hard part. We gotta get, there's like one or one, two, you can count the tracks. One here, one there. This one's a knotted there. Uh, so I'll get to the bottom and then I'll cut this last knob and pull it through. I'll, I'll, I'll get it inside of this last loop here, right in between there, and cut one side and then pull it out so both ends come out together. Uh, and you just look for the string. See, I can get my tool underneath there and just get underneath the line and pull the line and it'll just come out and then get to the next one here. Do that. I can't do it while I'm holding this though. I don't need one free hand. So I'll try to show. There's one. There's two. See, it's coming. I'm gonna shorten that line so I'm not Pulling a whole bunch through. Not if you can see that. Cut the line, I'm gonna see I got a loop there. Uh, it's a little tight because it's healed up pretty good. Feel that tension? Just pull it. And there you go. There's another one, and I'll get to this one. There we go. There we go, one more. Oh, we're at the bottom already, so I'm gonna cut that loop and then pull them all together. Get my tool underneath. This one you can't pull because there's a knot. Both sides, you're gonna have to get your tool underneath there and cut it and then pull it. Yeah. So this is the very end. I just uh, got my tool underneath that last knot, cut it, and then just pull it. And I know I have the end, so I know nothing's left in behind. I was cutting it shorter as I went along, so I wasn't feeding a big line through each single thing. But you can double check to make sure there's nothing in there. But I know I got the end, and I started at the top, so I know there's nothing in there, because it all pulled through. And that's probably the biggest thing is making sure nothing's left in because you get an absence or it'll go around it. An abscess, it'll go around the, uh, the suture material here. And that's it. Well, uh, that is, I, I took his posts out Thursday night. So it's been uh, 48 hours tonight and I'll, we got a vet appointment at three. So I'll let the vets look at... Uh, Give him a shot and just take a quick look at it and then I'll repost his ears tonight.